always square and circle for the square and compass everywhere oh yeah and another circle <laughs> with four rays square and compass I already filmed this for you Pfaffenheim with the Templar's cross on top and the crescent moon of Islam underneath because the Knights Templars they were together with the Muslims you know that's why we have them all over and again I've got nothing against Muslims don't start crying yeah here as well in a little village in Alsace so and I found I, I filmed this again shortly because I found something which will interest you, which I'm gonna show you now. So this is of course the mayor's office here in a little Alsatian town. So this here is a source here, while well, they're working on it. It's octagonal of course, with uh, Saint George, which is the, um, the patron saint of the Knights Templars with his wings and all that. So that means the Knights Templars were really here. It's quite rare, you know, you see a, uh, a statue with uh, St. George. I looked it up in the internet, well they were here in this town, uh, Pfaffenheim, killing the dragon. Of, which is of course us, it's sim symbolic for us, we are the dragon. And this is Pharaoh, you know, with his wings of Ma'at, bloody Nazi wings on it. So they're working here, as you can see here. It's quite difficult to film this all. I have to go through all this. As you can see, there's a big hole here. It would be interesting to go digging with a metal detector or something. So Okay, this is what the Queen is having on her, on her, on her chest, eh? This one and uh, Saint, uh, what is it, Saint Michael, who is the patron saint of the Mafia. Well, they are a big Mafia. So this is, I found this later, so this really is the final proof that the Knights Templars were here. They all, I mean, uh, it's the patron saint, yeah? So, next to the source here, and St. George, of course, I saw a logo here, which shows a circle for the compass and the concept of four. It's like a square with four points. So it says square and compass. It's so obvious. It's everywhere. Now look, the logo. There are two squares on each side, 90 degrees. In the middle is a square. For the concept of four, the square, but there are three things for the concept of three. And the concept of three is the compass, so it says square and compass. Very smart. Here as well, look at the G. And it's always the G for the Freemasons. And the G is like a circle for the compass. And there's a lot of squares in it as well, so it's something for the, for the slaves here. Houses, real estate, a lot of squares for the slaves with a big circle for the compass for our masters who own the whole shit. Yeah. So here you can see there are on this, um, it's, there are four triangles for the concept of four. The triangle is the concept of three because there are three corners in it, you know. But why do they make the A like a pyramid? Eh? These pharaohs. So it says square and compass, concept of three and four. Even on a, a children ground, children's playground here. So here's a children's toy, you know, to throw with a whistle in it, like. What do I see? The G of the Freemasons and a pyramid. You think that's a coincidence? <laughs> it's the, um, <clears throat> and here, oh yeah. The concept of three in the middle and it's in a square. So it says concept of three and four. The square is the concept of four. It's not a coincidence. I mean, can you understand, you know, the, uh, 
the chance that they, you know, that you find a G in a pyramid. Eh? That's Freemasonry, like the G in between the square and compass. We're being ruled by Pharaoh. Here, yeah, look. Uh, it's, it's a square with a circle on top, so it says square and compass. Aragon. Oh, what do you know? It's always the same. So, it's part of a car. Look, this is a McDonald's cup here. You know, you put cola in it or water or whatever. Now, why do you think there's so many squares on it? You know, there's a whole lot of squares. Not even only one, but many, many squares. Because the square is down at the pyramid where you are. So that means whatever there is in this cup, it's only for the slaves. Otherwise there would be circles on it if it would be for the masters as well. You see, a lot of squares. And the square is you, where the grass grows under the pyramid. So for them, the masters, you're just an animal. Because old McDonald's had a farm. Where the grass grows is the square. Down at the pyramid. So here I got a CBD beer, beer. and CBD is the part of the um, of of grass. You know what people are smoking, but without the uh, the drugs part of the THC. So it's apparently at six percent was. Very tasty and uh, cleared up the head, sort of, you know. But of course, I want to talk to you about the logo. It's the, the brand, it's a French brand, I suppose. It's called Milsons. And this here is supposed to be sort of an M. But it's not an M. It's more like a Templar's V, you see. I mean, who would make an M like this? It's really weird. And this M has three angles. One is here, one is there, and one is here. So it's the concept of three. And it's in a square for the, com for the concept of four. It might be a bit far-fetched than this one, but it's, uh, it's definitely the same thing. They even put the Templars V once more in the square. Yeah. And um, in this one, the oil, because I still got the pain in my uh, in my leg. This is the CBD oil, 20%. And um, you, you can see the downward, the inverse pyramid of Auschwitz behind it, sort of. No, it's a, it, you can you can sense it. It's a very occult logo, you know, and it's definitely definitely not an M. And of course, the M of Milsons. Why they put the M like this here, you know? Because the M is also Mason, and the Masons they come out of the Templar V. So it's all there, you know. The inverse pyramid of death, the the Templar V. M from Mason, square and compass, it says it all. But, and it's sort of the world behind it, isn't it? Ruling over the world? Oh, that's the world, yeah? part of the world, wherever that might be. Looks like Russia or something. So, um, anyway, it was a good beer. I really enjoyed that one. I got it for free from the, uh, the owner of a CBD shop. In Strasbourg, very nice man. He even brought me to the uh, to the petrol station and all that. Another logo, people. Oh yeah, and they also got these sort of things, you know, for children with cannabis. You know, so you can suck on that, but without the drugs part, of course, which is illegal in France. It says CBD. Interesting. Now go sock on the Templar VA. Eh? 
This is what it said on the lollipop rich in CBD. With all these plants here around it. Amsterdam. Uh, here it says uh, cannabis. And here it says multi-trance. Well, I'm glad it's not written with NS trance. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. So the multi trans CBD, uh, rich in CBD, that makes real obedient children, maybe, or maybe the other way around. Yeah, I've never seen a lollipop like this. Eh? Here's a company. Get Out Gear showing three pyramids and an octagon, octagon sun with eight rays um, and uh, three pyramids of course for the concept of three. I don't see the concept of four. Well I mean these are no mountains. Eh? These are definitely no mountains. Uh, I've never seen mountains like this that look like pyramids. Hey? They even have a capstone on it. Three capstones on it, you see? There must be a concept of four somewhere, but I don't, I don't see it. Instead of that they made the, uh, the octagon sun. As they are, you know, they are devoted to the sun, amun -Ra, Egyptians. And it's octagonal. Maybe the square is here in the, um, you know, this paper. It is a square, but then again, the other one isn't. But anyway, it's always sun and pyramids and the concept of three and uh, yeah. So I'm in this town here. You see, with the logo, with the concept of three uh, balls, and there are four squares in the cross. And here it says, in French here, in 1636, so the, um, the Thirty Year War, it ended in, uh, well, it was in the middle of the Thirty Year War, which ended in 1648. The uh, Les habitants fuient devant l'invasion suédois. The inhabitants, they all escaped in front of the Swedish invasion. 1644, the village is deserted. Le village reste désert. 1660, grâce à des immigrants venus de Suisse, le village se repeuple. In 1660, thanks to the immigrants from Switzerland, the village is... Um, there the, are the renewed people in it. So, all the people in here, they're all Swiss. And I tell you, I can tell you, you can, you can sense this. You know, there, are, there are the castles there. See, Zoop. the Chateau de Usseren, and um, so it's um, there's Germany. So what I told you, this is the buffer zone around Switzerland. They are entirely Swiss. They don't, of course, they don't talk about the Swiss mercenaries. Now it's only the Swedes who did it, you know. And, um, yeah, it says some more here, if you want to read this. Um, but this is important here. Yeah? During the Thirty Year War, which is, I've been telling you this for years, you know. Around Switzerland, there's a buffer zone. They're all Swiss. Now, of course, they don't mention it, you know, that they're all... That, you know, the Merc and the Swiss Mercs, they killed everybody here. Of course they don't. You know, 1660. So that was after the 1644, the, um, there's nobody left in the village. In 1660, the war ended in 1648. The immigrants, they came after the Thirty Year War. And they settled down in this uh, village. And the people here I've been staying with last winter, they have no friends here, they've been living here for 40 years. 
They said it's really cold here, and um, well, I can uh, I, I could explain them why. Why it's like this.